The badger proving was carried out in 2009 and the specimen was recent roadkill. Uh, the back of the badger had been pretty smashed and uh, he'd surely bled to death. Uh, I carried a knife, uh, as I usually do, and indeed a bottle for specimens, as I usually do, so it was very simple just to hack off a bit of the badger's uh, broken back leg and put it in a bottle. So I included in there was a little um, a bone and, uh, and flesh. In, in the popular imagination, in folklore, in the world of children, badger is a very much loved species. Of course, Wind in the Willows has Mr. Badger uh, as a character, an important character. Um, but outside of that, badgers just appear in children's stories. They're just part of the countryside, especially in the southwest of Britain. Uh, badgers thrive. They, they, they're omnivores with a particular delight in, uh, in earthworms, in this sense a little bit like moles. Um, and uh, they're nocturnal, so you get to see them at the two ends of the, of the day, I mean, unless you're out with torches watching them at night. You get to see them at the beginning and the end of the day. And the, one of the true delights of badger watching is, uh, is watching the cubs play. Young badgers are incredibly playful and they just roll roly-poly all over the, the place. And what a delight that is. Um, they're highly territorial. That's one of the really strong features of the badger clan. There is a, a, a dominant uh, male who is the, the, the leader of the clan and then there's all the rest around him. Uh, but most importantly is the, is the boundary marking of badgers. They, they patrol their spot uh, every day, every night I should say. And, uh, and every member of the tribe of the clan does this. And they mark with urine and they mark with feces. Marking with feces has resulted in a f something you may have noticed in woodland where, where there are badgers, which is that um, flowering trees often uh, uh, appear in the perimeter of old woodland and one wonders why. And it is because the badgers carry things like cherry seeds and, uh, and uh, mar use them as, as markers, feces markers, around the perimeter, their territory is marked this way and the trees come up and there we are. They've uh, contributed to the, the, the look of the forest. Being um, creatures that, uh, that, that follow a set plan uh, for, for marking territory, they are susceptible to roadkill. This is one of the main reasons that badgers are killed these days. Because their, their, their t boundaries that have been established for hundreds of years uh, don't, don't take account of the modern invention of the car. And if their track is across a road, there is a chance of a roadkill right there. And they, they sort of run on their tracks as if blind. It's not that they're not looking, it's that they're just on their track and that's the way they go. So these are characteristics that are very typical of badger rather than other mammals. They have all the mammal characteristics, of course, of closeness with family, looking after family, looking after their children. Uh, sexual uh, aspects are all very highly featured. All of this we see in badger. A sense of, of, uh, of fun and play and children and nature, common with most mammals. But the idea of territory is very strongly marked in the badger. Actually, I think of badger in connection with the sun sign Taurus. There's something very traditional about badger ways that is quite, uh, that blends quite well with the, the uh, archetype of the Taurus individual. So for me, that's the kind of shorthand to, to understanding the patient for whom this is the perfect remedy. Animal, mammal, Taurus kind of nature gets you thinking about badger. Um, badgers, of course, have been 
associated with bovine t with uh, with with TB um, in general and and bovine TB in particular, and have been uh, culled uh, in many attempts to l reduce TB in cattle, and it, it actually doesn't work. So, complete waste of time. Um, the most recent. Uh, idea is to let them be, thank goodness. Um, it does mean that there is there are a threat from the outside, whether it's from roadkill or whether it's from humans trying to kill them, is slightly in the picture, but not as much as, you, as, as I might have imagined, um, actually. Uh, one might have imagined that badger as a, a identified species would have uh, this, this idea would have come through in the proving, not, not, not as much as one might have suspected. Um, the roadkill uh, and the damage to the hindquarters of the badger did come through in the proving. So when we look at the, at the, 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 the Materia Medica, of course most will be in dreams and mind, but the section that has, uh, of the body that has the most uh, symptoms is uh, our extremities. One of, one of the provers uh, broke a leg uh, shortly after beginning the proving, it took months to heal. It was a horrible fracture. Um, and many, many of the others had symptoms associated with pain or weakness in joints, especially of the lower extremities. So, so I think some of the individual uh, characteristic of the, of the specimen flowed through into the proving. So it's another indication uh, for the use of this particular badger. Jeremy Shear, when he uh, proved uh, eagle, which is an eagle with a damaged wing, got some of that also through in the proving, damaged, you know, damaged uh, shoulder or arms. This, this, this part was uh, figured. So, yeah, falcon uh, was a stud bird that was used for um, semen uh, for in, insemination uh, and breeding in captivity of falcons. This particular falcon's purpose was not to fly free, but uh, uh, to deliver uh, sperm. And of course, there's a connection between falcon and freedom and, and uh, suppression of freedom or caging of freedom and a sexual side as well uh, to do with the relationship between the falcon and the falconer, which is a very closely bonded relationship, plus this twist that also came through. So these things do, and um, they, they, yeah, what to say, other than to note that fact and uh, be aware of it. There, there, there are more things to say about badger, of course. And um, being badgered, we have this phrase of being badgered, gives another idea or clue into badger nature. Um, badgers are, are very, um, it's, not just, it's not just aggressive, they certainly can be aggressive, but they're just very set on tracks. And uh, they don't like to be pushed off their tracks because their tracks are their tracks. So if they're, um, being badgered gives you the idea of somebody who will just keep on at something and more and more and more and on and on and on until you're worn down. And this idea is quite badger um, also. Um, badgers were uh, used in fair, you know, medieval times, fairgrounds, badger fights. It wasn't just cockerels, it was also badgers. And badgers will fight to the death. They don't give up. They just keep on and on and on until they achieve their goal. So that's of a very badger quality and is a characteristic which you may see in certain patients, of course, like, um, yeah, a bit like ferum in some ways, as a, as a comparison, DD. Um, just, just keep on at a thing until you've got it. You won't bend this idea. A bit like Nux vomica too, isn't it? Just keep on going. Uh, you will not, you, till you get achieve your goal.